Picture this. Iconic landmarks submerged, major cities drowning, and coastal communities disappearing beneath the waves. The world as we know it would look vastly different if Greenland's ice sheet were to melt entirely. In today's video, we'll take a deep dive into this harrowing possibility and explore the far-reaching consequences of such a catastrophic event. As our planet faces the increasing threat of global warming, understanding the potential outcomes of melting ice sheets is not only fascinating but essential for our future. As we navigate this topic, we'll investigate the effects of a fully melted Greenland ice sheet on various aspects of our planet, including sea level rise, weather patterns, ocean currents, and ecosystem changes. Strap in as we embark on a journey to a world transformed by the power of climate change. But before we go any further, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. Covering an area of approximately 1.7 million square kilometers, Greenland's ice sheet is the second largest body of ice on Earth after the Antarctic ice sheet. With a volume of about 2.85 million cubic kilometers, this massive ice sheet contains enough water to raise global sea levels by a staggering 7.4 meters, 24 feet, if it were to melt completely. Greenland's ice sheet plays a critical role in regulating our planet's climate. The vast expanse of ice reflects sunlight back into space, helping to cool the Earth. Additionally, the meltwater from the ice sheet influences ocean currents and contributes to the thermohaline circulation, which drives the global climate system. Currently, the rate of melting in Greenland is accelerating due to various factors. The most significant contributor is the rise in global temperatures caused by human activities, such as burning fossil fuels and deforestation. These activities release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, trapping heat and causing the planet to warm. Warmer air temperatures, in turn, cause the ice sheet to melt faster. Moreover, warmer ocean temperatures erode the ice sheet from below, further contributing to its rapid decline. Recent studies suggest that the Greenland ice sheet is losing ice at an unprecedented rate, shedding an estimated 260 billion metric tons of ice per year. This alarming trend highlights the urgent need to understand the potential consequences of a world without Greenland's ice sheet. If a Greenland ice sheet were to melt entirely, the resulting sea level rise would have devastating consequences for coastal cities and low-lying regions worldwide. As previously mentioned, the complete melting of Greenland's ice sheet would raise global sea levels by approximately 7.4 meters, 24 feet. This significant increase would inundate many urban centers, displacing millions of people and causing widespread destruction. For instance, New York City, with its densely populated coastal areas, would experience extensive flooding, putting iconic landmarks like Wall Street and the Statue of Liberty at risk. Miami, another vulnerable city, would face near-total inundation, as most of the city lies just a few feet above sea level. Across the globe, Shanghai, a bustling metropolis of over 24 million people, would face severe flooding with large portions of the city submerged. In Bangladesh, a country with a vast, low-lying delta region, millions of people would be forced to abandon their homes as water levels rise, turning the area into an uninhabitable landscape. These disastrous effects would create numerous social and economic consequences, the displacement of millions of people would lead to a massive loss of valuable infrastructure and property. As populations are forced to move inland, unaffected areas would experience a strain on resources, such as housing, food, water, and healthcare services. This could lead to social tensions and increased poverty as communities struggle to accommodate the influx of displaced individuals. The melting of Greenland's ice sheet would also significantly impact global weather patterns. One of the most notable effects would be on the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, AMOC a system of ocean currents that transports warm water from the tropics to the North Atlantic. The influx of fresh meltwater from the ice sheet would disrupt this circulation, potentially causing the AMOC to weaken or even collapse. This disruption in ocean circulation would lead to shifts in the jet stream, a band of strong winds in the upper atmosphere that influences weather patterns. These changes would alter weather patterns worldwide, resulting in a variety of consequences. For example, the frequency and severity of storms may increase as the jet stream becomes more unstable. Altered precipitation patterns could lead to droughts in some areas and flooding in others, causing devastation to agriculture and water resources. Additionally, temperature extremes may become more common, with some regions experiencing harsher winters and others suffering from scorching heatwaves. These changes in weather patterns would have far-reaching implications for human societies and natural ecosystems alike. The melting of Greenland's ice sheet would not only affect the AMOC but also disrupt other ocean currents, such as the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream transports warm water from the Gulf of Mexico to the North Atlantic, playing a crucial role in regulating climate, particularly in Western Europe. The influx of fresh meltwater could weaken the Gulf Stream, leading to a cascade of consequences for global climate patterns. 
As the Gulf Stream weakens, Western Europe's climate would become cooler, potentially causing harsher winters and a decrease in agricultural productivity. Changes in ocean temperature gradients would further disrupt global climate patterns, leading to unpredictable and extreme weather events. These disruptions in ocean currents would also have severe consequences for marine ecosystems. Changes in water temperatures and nutrient availability would cause shifts in species distribution as marine organisms seek more suitable habitats. This would in turn disrupt established food chains and threaten the survival of various species. Coral reefs already facing significant stress from climate change would suffer further from coral bleaching and ocean acidification caused by the altered ocean conditions. In addition to the impacts on marine ecosystems, the melting of Greenland's ice sheet would have far-reaching consequences for terrestrial ecosystems as well. As global temperatures continue to rise, species ranges would shift, causing some organisms to migrate towards higher latitudes or elevations in search of cooler habitats. These shifts could lead to changes in migration patterns, as animals follow the movement of their food sources. As a result, ecosystems worldwide would experience a loss of biodiversity, as species struggle to adapt to the rapidly changing conditions. The melting of Greenland's ice sheet would have particularly devastating effects on polar ecosystems. Polar bear populations, for example, would face further decline as their sea ice habitat disappears. The loss of Arctic ice would also impact other species, such as seals and walruses, which rely on ice for resting and breeding grounds. Additionally, changes in ocean temperature and nutrient availability could lead to fluctuations in crow populations, affecting the entire food web of the polar regions. To combat the potentially disastrous consequences of Greenland's ice sheet melting, several mitigation and adaptation strategies must be pursued. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions is critical to slowing the rate of global warming and, in turn, the rate of ice melt. Transitioning to renewable energy sources, increasing energy efficiency and adopting sustainable land use practices are all essential components of this effort. Implementing coastal protection measures such as seawalls, flood barriers, and restoring natural coastal defenses like mangroves and wetlands can help safeguard vulnerable areas from rising sea levels. Investing in climate-resilient infrastructure, such as elevated buildings and improved stormwater management systems, will also help communities better withstand the impacts of climate change. Finally, supporting ecosystem restoration and conservation efforts is crucial for preserving biodiversity and ensuring the long-term health of our planet's ecosystems. This includes protecting vital habitats, combating invasive species, and implementing sustainable management practices for natural resources. By adopting these strategies, we can work together to mitigate the effects of climate change and protect our planet for future generations. In conclusion, the melting of Greenland's ice sheet would significantly impact our planet, causing sea level rise, altered weather patterns, and ecosystem changes. Immediate action is crucial to slow down climate change and mitigate these consequences. By reducing emissions and supporting conservation, we can protect our world's future. If you found this video informative, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Let's make a difference together.